What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta talk about what happened on this episode of Friday Night SmackDown. The most important stuff that happened on the show, in my opinion. So we gotta talk about how the show started off with uh solo coming out there with the new bloodline and you know doing the normal stuff. Hey, y'all gonna have to acknowledge me, crowd booing, chin, OTC, solo not trying to hear it. He basically let it be known, like, nah, boys is going to have to acknowledge me. Roman, when he gets here, he's going to acknowledge me. And if he doesn't, then the beatings are going to keep happening. We're not stopping until he acknowledges me. So, instead of Roman music or, you know, uh, anybody else's music hitting, because uh, they weren't there at the show yet, Jay's music hit. And Jay comes through the crowd, crowd uh started to yeeting with him cool moment to see jay out there and even as he's getting to the ring <laughs> i love how solo uh he's kind of getting into his in his to his own with this heel uh this heel persona that he's been doing this new version of the tribal chief he was like man go ahead go ahead just just do your yeet stuff because jay's out there yeeting with the crowd on the turnbuckles and stuff he's just do your yeet stuff so he comes down and he's like hey man I see you trying to, you know, doing your thing. I'm not going to lie to you. This is not the right way to go about it. Like, this is, I, I feel like you're, you're going about it the wrong way. Like, you're separating the family, you know, instead of actually, you know, trying to bring the family together. I mean, I left. I left. You know my issues. I left and went and became the Intercontinental Champion. But the way you're going about this solo you, this is this is not the way you need to do it and then uh you know and also throughout the the promo you know jay is basically saying look you still gonna always be my little brother you know, I, i'm still love you you're always gonna be my little brother and i figured solo would have some you know not like that and he was like hey first and foremost you know are you done yapping all you've been all you was doing is yeet 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 are you done that's what you got to tell me. First and foremost, don't I'm not your little brother. I'm your tribal chief. So you should acknowledge me as your tribal chief. And he was like, look, that's that's just what it is right now. Like, yeah, you doing your thing. That's cool. But at the end of the day, you know, you need to acknowledge me as your tribal chief. Either you down with that or you not. And it's going to be a problem. So, Jay was like, look, I'm, you know, he didn't really give his answer on him being, you know, acknowledging Solo. But he was like, look, if you want to do that, that's fine. But my real question becomes, why them? Why did you get the Tongans? Why did you get Tama Tonga? Why did you get Tonga Loa? What was the pur purpose of bringing them? There's a reason why we didn't ask them to be a part of it. And why did you even get Jacob Fatu? And to be honest with you, if he don't stop looking at me like that, we can go. We going we going we can go right now. And he got up in Jacob Fatu's face. I was like, that is good because Jacob Fatu just had the prayer hands, but he's looking at at Jay like he read. You know, at the moment's notice, at the moment's notice, whenever Solo says jump, he gonna say how high. And go at, at at Jay, but Jay liked that he had no fear in his heart. He was like, "Hey, bro, if he keep looking at me like this, way Jacob Fatu Fatu looking at me, we can go right now. Like, what's up?" And Solo had to hold him back. I was like, "Oh, that's that's good. Love what they're doing there." But ultimately, he's like, "Man, I'm not rocking with this, bro. I don't know what you got going on, but this ain't this ain't the route, bro. This ain't the right way to go." And he ended up getting out the ring. And obviously, I, I do think where they're setting this up, I can see a situation where maybe Solo ends up sending um, uh, Jacob Fatu to cost uh, Jay, uh, uh, Jay's uh, Intercontinental Championship match he has on this upcoming Monday against Braun Breaker. I can see that happening. He act He initiated to like hey bro i don't know who you looking at but we can go right now if you got a problem with it so i can see 
Solo, after, you know, Jay pretty much called out Jacob, I can see Solo sending his enforcer to, you know, cost him the title, you know, and and it, it's one of those things where uh, Solo didn't get the response he wanted. He didn't get the acknowledgement from Jay. So he leaves, nothing else happens, but I do think that's what's possibly going to happen. Um, he will send either Jacob or maybe even the Tongans, maybe all three, to cost, uh, potentially cost Jay his match on Monday Night Raw against Braun Breaker. So uh, Jay Intercontinental Championship reign may come to an end on uh, this upcoming Monday. So we'll see. But great segment, though. Love it. Love what they did there. So Roman and uh, Jimmy pull up, and I guess they got exclusive access to be listening to uh, Travis Scott's unreleased track of sorts. So they bobbing, pulled up, or whatnot, and they see Jay, you know, kind of, you know, going in the direction they just came in. And it's funny because Jimmy is always getting left hanging. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't get left hanging with Roman, but now he's getting left hanging from his brother. He tried to get a dap from uh, Jay. Jay just smiled at him. And then he looked at Roman and then he walked off, but Roman pulled him back. And they, you know, they, they looked at each other and Roman said, hey, man. He looked at the title. was like, I'm proud of you. We all proud of you. And you can see Jay still not really rocking with Roman. Still has issues with him. And basically he hit him with the no yeet. And he just, he looked at him with disgust. He did, he has, he doesn't, doesn't want to have anything to do with Roman. So he walked off. And I'm like, ah, oh, they're, they're, they're slowly cooking this. Well, they're slowly cooking this as they should. I mean, to be honest with you, Jay has been manipulated for so long, for like two out of the three years of Roman as champion, for a very long time before he went to Monday Night Raw, Jay had been manipulated. He was one of the first people to get manipulated. So he shouldn't be just so happy to, you know, be buddy-buddy with him now. So I, I like that. They're going to build towards that. And when it does happen, it's going to be a monumental moment. So then uh, we cut back later in the show. And Jimmy and Roman are talking in the back and, you know, trying to figure out a game plan. What are they going to do? And Jimmy's like, look, we, we still, hey, you may need to talk to Jay, like, for real. You may need to have that conversation with him. And Roman's like, man, no. You saw, we tried to talk to him. He didn't want to talk to us. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to do it my way. And I may have to acknowledge Solo. So, automatically you're like wait what acknowledge solo what is going on here ain't no way so we get to the main event of the show roman comes out there first then solo comes out there he already has his you know he's in his wrestling gear he looked like he's about to have him a match so he comes out there and before he does come out there roman does his you know normal acknowledge me but he said this may be for the last time acknowledge me so he's like he embraced it potentially because this may be the last time. So as Solo gets out there, he asks Roman asks Solo, "You you you think this new bloodline is 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 working? You you think like you're dangerous? Like you guys are doing something? And he's like you're not. Like this is not how it should be. Like we're divided after everything we've been through this year. Like we're divided and it shouldn't be that way." And then I like the fact that he brought up his father. He said, man, I had talked to my father and, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get this right. He, he want, you know, he wanted us to be on the same page, you know, obviously talking about, you know, his father before he recently passed. So I like that he brought that emotion because you can see Roman very emotional about this. He's like, bro, we should we should be working together. Like we were before, bringing in all the money from the heavens. Like, my father didn't want this, and I'm trying to fix it. So how can I fix this? And Solo's laughing. He's like, you know how you can fix this. You know what you got to do. Just acknowledge me. So Roman says, you know what? Fuck it. For the family, for my dad, I acknowledge you. Shocking moment, right? 
Definitely shocking moment. Crowd's like, no. But Roman says, I acknowledge you. But that's not enough for Solo. It's not enough. Solo's like, no, 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 no. I need you to acknowledge me as your tribal chief. And that's when things start to get a little bit more tense. And Solo said, if you don't, then, I mean, I need you to acknowledge me as, as your tribal chief or else. And Roman, that old Roman came back out for a quick second. He said, or else what? He turned up. Y'all know when Roman explodes and he turns up, shit is about to get real. He turned up once again. Or else what? Got up in his face. And so I was like, see, exactly. I knew this was all an act. You wouldn't, you don't, you're not about to acknowledge me. That's fine. I knew it. You ain't changed. That's fine. That's cool. If that's how you want to be, so be it. Snapped his fingers. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what, what that means. Out come the Tongans and Jacob Fatu, and they're dragging a lifeless body of Jimmy. Jimmy had gotten packed up in the back. They did all types of unspeakable Samoan damage to Jimmy in the back. Face all bruised up, bloodied up. They packed him up. So at that point, Roman said, fuck it, we here now. So Roman starts fighting with uh with um Solo. And then the Tongans come in one by one. And even Jacob Fatu comes in afterwards. He gets knocked down. And in the process of all of that happening, once again, we've seen this angle before where the Ula follows in the corner. Roman, he sees it because he knocks down uh, Solo once again. He sees it and he picks it up and he's taking his time. Crowds chanting, they're getting amped. And he puts the Ulafala on again. It's like him regaining his powers only to be hit with a low blow right as soon as he puts it on. And then from there, the Tongans proceed to pack him up. Even uh, Solo, I mean, Jacob Fatu ends up packing him up. And then he uh, ends up, I think Jacob hit like some type of uh, modified DDT. Looked pretty good uh, from the angle. And then they hold him up. They hold him up like they did last week. And Solo like, I'm the OTC. You shouldn't acknowledge me. I'm the OTC now. Hits him with the Samoan spikes. Roman's selling it like a million bucks. Then he picks him up again. Talking his trash like, I'm the OTC now. This is, what, this is what's going to keep happening to you. Hits him with another Samoan spike. And we end off the show as Jacob puts the Ulafala back. On to Solo, and Roman has pretty much been incapacitated once again by this new version of the Bloodline. And I love it. I love it. You don't see Roman getting packed up. Throwing up the X for Roman is kind of wild. You, you don't really see that. So I, I definitely like the fact that Roman isn't going to just be able to overcome these odds like he used to. He's a tribal chief with no tribe. We've seen that. Cody foretold this a few years ago. When you lose, who will you be? You will be eventually, people will turn. People will leave you. You will be a tribal chief with no tribe. And everything that's happened is happened. Roman is a tribal chief, no tribe. The only person that has his back is Jimmy. So, Loving what they're doing here. Great progressing of the story. I don't know if they're going to uh, potentially set up some type of match between Roman and Solo uh, at Crown Jewel. I can see that happening. Uh, the reports are, are that Roman's going to be at all the remaining PLEs for the rest of the year. So we'll see how that plays out. Either way, this was really, really, really fun. What they've been doing with the whole Bloodline story. And I'm looking forward to seeing how things are going to play out. Even on Monday night, will the Bloodline come up? to Monday Night Raw to interfere in that Intercontinental Championship match. Uh, it's a possibility that could happen. But comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys enjoying what they're doing with the Bloodline story so far? Uh, me personally, I am. I, it's a slow build, but they're building it up at the right pace. And I do think for Survivor Series or uh, the War Games match, the OG Bloodline versus the new Bloodline, it's going to be fire the way they set that up. So, But let me know also if you enjoyed the show, uh, this episode of SmackDown, what you rate the show on a scale of 1 to 10. But I appreciate all love support. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See you on the next one. Peace.